So, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is one of my favorite techniques to be able to use because when you're applying distributed property, Tristan, as I kind of mentioned, when you have you know, a number of term outside of parentheses and you need to multiply it by both terms, then it's going to look something like that, right? But it comes into an issue is once we have a binomial being multiplied by a trinomial, or even worse, a trinomial by a trinomial, this distributive property thing can get very confusing. And you start multiplying this number by everything over here, and then this term by everything over there, and it becomes a lot of multiplication. So what I prefer to do when, when I start multiplying binomials and trinomials and so forth is I like to create a box to represent my multiplication. And I make a box that's going to represent the trinomial up top and the binomial on the side. Does everybody see how I kind of labeled those side lengths? So therefore, now every single term kind of has its own section. Does everybody see that? OK. So now, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to determine the area of each box. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 3x is negative 3x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Does everybody follow me with that? I'll get there. Then I have x squared times 1 is x squared. Negative 3x times 1 is a negative 3x. And 4 times 1, again, I'm trying to find the area of this. So this, this width is 4, the length is 1, so 4 times 1 is 4. And what's nice about this method is you guys can see that when you're trying to combine your like terms, like terms, as long as you have both of you, as long as you have your polynomials ordered, then your like terms combine diag or are, di are on, di on the diagonal. So now, when I'm trying to find my answer, I have x cubed. I could write out negative x squared plus x squared, but I can combine. I see that these both are x squared, so they're like terms. So that means I can combine them. So negative 3x squared plus x squared is going to be a negative 2x squared. Negative 3x plus x is just going to be a positive x. And then I have nothing to add to my 4, so it becomes a positive 4. Anybody want me to reiterate that or re-explain it in a different way? You guys want to give it a shot? OK. So 